mechanics is a first semester subject that you want to learn as part of your semester one syllabus in engineering. Let's understand what is the content of this subject. What do we learn under engineering mechanics? Engineering mechanics deals with the effect of forces acting on bodies which are either at rest or in motion. I repeat, effect of forces acting on bodies which are either at rest, stationary or which could be moving in motion. That branch of mechanics which deals with bodies at rest, bodies which are stationary, we call it statics. In statics, we study objects which are stationary at rest. Whereas, bodies in motion, this branch of mechanics is called dynamics. So, two sections, two branches in mechanics. Section 1 is called statics, dealing with bodies at rest. Section 2 is dynamics, which deals with bodies in motion. We would be starting with section 1 which is the statics part of your syllabus dynamics comes in the second half of this course dynamics comes a little later we begin with branch 1 which is statics under statics as I told you we deal with bodies which are at rest the effect of forces acting on a particular body which is at rest the most basic concept that we need to introduce when you begin the study of statics is resolution of forces. Resolution of forces. What do we mean by resolving a particular force? What is the meaning of the term resolve? Imagine a 100 Newton force making an angle of 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Resolving would mean breaking this 100 Newton force into two components. We call these as components. This would be called as the X component Fx. This would be called as the Y component Fy. Breaking this force into its x and y components would be resolving this force into two rectangular components. How do we obtain the magnitude of this x component? For that, the angle is 30 here. We know cos 30. Cos 30 is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Now, this length represents the magnitude of fx. This length represents the magnitude of the resultant force which is 100. Hence, can we say cos 30 is equal to fx upon 100? In other words, fx is 100 cos 30 degrees. That gives us the magnitude of fx as 100 cos 30 degrees. Is that clear? 